welcome to Kit Guru, everybody. My name's Christina, and we already reviewed a premium set of in-ear headphones by One More, True Wireless ANC in-ear headphones. And if you haven't checked that one out already, make sure you do. We also talked about the company there if you haven't already heard of One More, but Today, we are overviewing One More's Color Buds, retailing at around £95 GBP, and Dual Driver ANC Pros, retailing at £145. If you use Kit Guru to help you make a buying decision, or you just simply love tech, make sure that you support us for totally free by hitting that sub button, notification bell, and checking out our merch. Help us spread the word. Without you, we cannot keep providing these unbiased reviews to help you make the right decision. Now, you've done all that for us, thank you, on to the packaging. If you have watched my reviews before, you know I like a good unboxing experience, and the previous one more in ears provided 100% that. Let's see what they have in store today. Both of these models have the similar aesthetics, white, clean boxes, inside the colour buds we have a simple pull open box, and we're greeted with the plastic shroud with info on, and inside we have the case with the buds, inside the pieces, charger and paperwork. With the dual drivers we have a slightly different experience when opening as it opens with a metal magnetic badge on the side. Inside the same design with the plastic shroud but this time the information is on the inside of the box on the left here. Then we have the dual drivers first and underneath there are all the earpieces fantastically laid out. Then there are these almost advent calendar doors. The top one leads to the nice little carry case and the usual paraffin the second one leads to the charger and the USB-C to 3.5 millimeter jack. So first impressions, the colour buds look fun. They come in all ranges of colours and I love the fact that the colour theme runs entirely through the whole item including those changeable earpieces. They are predominantly plastic though. The colour buds are really nice and discreet so if you don't want to have anything too large hanging out of your ear, these are for you. The dual drivers have a futuristic kind of vibe, which is kind of cool, but I'm not sure if I would rock them personally with this neck piece here, but there you go, that's just me. It's nice to see some variation in texture too, with the silicon piece around your neck, the plastic control ends, and the metal detail on the earpieces themselves. If you've watched the previous one more review that I did, you will know that I am not a huge fan of in-ear headphones usually, but one more did blow me away with the comfort and fit, and to be honest, both of these are really comfortable. I think my issue in the past has been the rounded variety of earpiece, which the colour buds have, and to be honest, they are not as comfortable as the dual drivers. The dual drivers do come with the oval shape earpieces, and I definitely prefer them. They both don't fall out of your ears though, which is a huge bonus, as usually that's what happens as my ears are quite small. When the dual drivers are around your neck, they are super comfortable to be honest. It's not overly heavy or hindering. You don't even really notice that bit around your neck. Both the color buds and the dual drivers are also IPX5 rated, which means they are water and sweat resistant. So should stand up to all weather conditions. Now, how do they feel to the touch? Well, the color buds feel very plasticky. As mentioned earlier, they are entirely made out of plastic, but it does mean they are really light. The dual drivers feel lovely to the touch. To be honest, the velvety silicon on the neck piece here makes them feel really premium. It is also skin friendly silicon so it shouldn't cause any reactions or problems there. The wire that leads to the ear pieces isn't the most premium of feels though, it's a little kink friendly and feels quite thin. It came to kink from the box and those kinks don't want to seem to go away. The ear pieces feel nice though with that cold feel you only get from metal and it's a nice detail. It would have been nice to see the end controls metal though but they may have made this decision to prevent it from being too heavy and I understand why they've done that. Let's move on to some main features. So USB-C charging for both here. They are also both tuned by Luca Bignardi, who is a four-time Grammy winning sound engineer. Fast charge for both of them. So color buds, 15 minutes equals two hours. Dual drivers, 10 minutes equals three hours. 
Bluetooth 5 in both of them, full range balanced armature, ENC suppresses environmental noise to bring out your voice. The dual drivers have some key features of their own. So they have magnetic ends that bring them together so they're not flapping around too much. They also have integrated hybrid active noise cancelling up to 35 decibels, three levels of ANC which gives you the choice to hear differing levels of your surroundings, wind noise resistance, WNR suppresses the microphonics caused by the wind, four mic noise cancelling, 13.6 millimeter dynamic hybrid dual driver, LDAC and AAC compatibility, which helps deliver a higher kilobits per second data rate to give you a higher quality sound, as if you're listening to them directly from CD, etc. Battery fuels up to 20 hours of non-stop music when fully charged at 50% volume, ANC off, DNN algorithm, that's deep neural network. And by the way, I have no idea what deep neural network is. So just to fill you guys in, a deep neural network is an artificial neural network with multiple layers between the input and the output layers. The DNN finds the correct mathematical manipulation to turn the input into the output. This helps create a better listening experience and production of the sound you hear. I didn't know that, I had to look that up. <laughs> Multifunction controller includes the power, voice control and resistance, ANC, volume and media buttons. If I am being really critical though, the ANC isn't the best I have heard. In my previous review of One More's true wireless ANC in-ear headphones, the ANC was really powerful and you can hear the outside really well if you want to. In the dual drivers, you can't really hear a lot anyway if the music is turned up a little bit. Don't get me wrong, you can hear if you want to, but it's just not as clear as those true wireless ANC in-ear headphones. So let's have a look at some features for the color buds. Qualcomm CVC 8. 0.0 dual microphone, LDS antenna gives much better connection with less interference. Compatible with aptX and AAC, so both Android and iOS devices. Six hours listening on a single charge, up to 22 if you use the charge case too. After initial pairing, they will automatically pair when you open the lid. There's touch control, so double tap to answer calls, hang up, play, pause, and triple tap is voice control. I personally didn't like the fact that you double tap an in-ear headphone and this was my one gripe from the previous review because it does feel really uncomfortable when you're tapping something that's deep in your ear canal but that's just my personal preference. So let's move on to the sound test because that's what's important right? Now I thought I would test the color birds first as I imagine they were not going to be as good a quality as the dual drivers. Pairing was easy, pop on bluetooth, press and hold the pair button inside the case and away we go. They make a little bring noise when you put them in which is pretty cool. First impressions were good. Great amount of bass, the profile has slightly elevated high frequencies as expected really in this kind of price range, but even the high levels of volume, there is no distortion, they go really loud so no problem there. The smart playback works really well when you remove one bud or both, the infrared sensor will pick that up. Also really good at blocking out the sound around you. Now the dual drivers, instantly of course you can hear a greater depth in the levels of frequency in regards to bass, mids and highs, they're equally punching through and the ANC really helps with keeping that sound in. I was using the LDAC abilities as well as my phone supports this. In comparison though, I think they both have a fantastic sound with ample bass and you probably wouldn't really tell the difference unless they were side by side like I have them now. Also on a little side note, I did initially have an issue where I heard a rather loud high pitch screeching noise, kind of like a teenage alarm and it disappeared when I changed the size of the ear tip to a larger one. Now, I spoke to one more about this and they gave me the clarification I needed. The representative went on to say this, I've heard of this across all of our ANC products from four other people over the past few years. With you, it makes five. He means me, of course. In those instances, all of them told me they have quite sensitive hearing. Also, one particular case earlier this year with our true wireless ANC, a journalist was experiencing something very similar. They swapped out the stock ear tips for another size, larger in their example, and the issue was eradicated. More than likely, that is his ear canal 
now was larger than he presumed and he didn't have a full seal around his inner ear which would lead me to believe the sound was still leaking in through the tiny gaps between the ear tip and the skin. I think this makes perfect sense and if you are one of the people with highly sensitive hearing like myself and the other four people, make sure you choose the right size earpiece to avoid this happening to you. Let's run through some pros and cons here. Let's start with pros for both of the items. They're both really well packaged. They've both got good variation of earpieces. It's just a shame that the colour buds didn't have the oval pieces included. They're both IPX5 rated. They have some really good specs, great battery life, great base and volume. Now some pros for the colour buds. They are discreet, they're very pretty to look at as well so they come in loads of different colours and I think that's really nice. They're really light due to that plastic form. Great sound for the price and size and lots of bass. Some pros for the dual drivers. Well, the dual drivers obviously feel premium. They're wired and wireless playback, have even more specs than the color buds, and a slightly better balanced profile. They also have ANC, LDAC, and to be honest, I prefer the controls. Cons for the color buds. They're really plasticky. The highs are slightly more prominent in the sound profile. The controls are a little restricted, but you can use voice control, so I'll let you decide that one. Some cons for the dual drivers might not be the most fashionable um, and not a great lead from the earpiece and it is a bit kink friendly. ANC didn't seem as good as some of the other One Moors products, but they obviously aren't as expensive as One Moors true wireless ANC in-ear headphones, so I'm not really mad at them for that. My conclusion, well, I think the Colour Buds win the war here for me personally. They have an above average sound profile, lots of bass as well. I know they don't have some of the features and the highs are somewhat little bit more prominent but for the price difference I think you get a lot for your money here. They're lightweight and discreet too which is something I really like. They have also lots of colour options for you to choose from so there's something for everybody. The dual drivers are a close runner up though they have a great sound profile and the ANC is a nice touch. They also have a nice set of easy to access controls and some pretty impressive specs. I would purchase One More's True Wireless ANC in-ear headphones over any of these any day of the week and again if you haven't checked out that review make sure you do here on Kit Guru. however out of these two I would go for the colour buds hands down. What do you guys think? Would you go for the colour buds or the dual driver ANC pros? Sub, hit the bell, check out our merch, make a difference. My name's Christina here at Kit Guru. we'll see you next time.